Our headlines today. An Israeli attack on an ambulance in Gaza is condemned by the UN and World Health Organization. Israel says it was being used by Hamas fighters. More British nationals who are trapped in Gaza have managed to leave a UK-based doctor is the first to be reunited with his family at Heathrow. As Lebanon's Hezbollah leader steps stops short of committing his fighters to war, the U.S. says a wider regional escalation has been prevented. And the first images coming in from a remote region of Nepal where an earthquake is feared to have killed more than 100 people. The comedian and actor Russell Brand is being sued in New York for allegedly sexually assaulting a woman on a film set in 2010. Good morning in sport. More troubles for Ten Hag at Manchester United. He blasts the birthday party that Marcus Rashford held after the Manchester derby defeat as unacceptable, with the team heading for Fulham this lunchtime. Talks to resolve a pay dispute between doctors and the government got underway this week and have been described as constructive by the British Medical Association. The union said negotiations are ongoing with consultants and at their early stages with junior doctors. Ministers had previously refused to meet, saying their pay offer was fair and final. A vigil will be held tonight in memory of the ice hockey player Adam Johnson, who died during a match last Saturday. A 29-year-old American who played for the Nottingham Panthers died in hospital after sustaining a neck injury from a skate worn by an opposition player. Panthers players will privately reflect on memories with Adam in the afternoon, followed by tributes by the general public. Multi-storey car park at Luton Airport, which collapsed following a massive fire, is to be demolished. Flames spread across multiple floors of the Terminal 2 car park. That was on October the 10th, destroying more than 1,400 cars. It was declared a major incident and more than 100 firefighters were deployed to bring the blaze under control. Investigators believe it was started when a diesel car, possibly a Range Rover, suffered an electrical fault or leaking fuel line. Let's have a look at the papers for you right now. Some of the front pages, the front page of The Guardian, focusing these comments from the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu during a meeting with the US Secretary of State, Anthony Blinken. He refused a temporary ceasefire with Hamas in Gaza until all Israeli hostages are released. No justice is the Daily Mirror's headline, reporting that the killer of Zara Alina has had his minimum jail term reduced from 38 years to 33 years. The paper says the decision sparked outrage from Ms Alina's family. Of course, we will be talking to Zara's aunt at quarter past eight this morning. And we can have a look at the Times as well. This picture getting a lot of attention. Um, the Beatles, of course. Band releasing a video yesterday of what's been called their final song. Now and Then has taken 45 years to make. The first bars were written by John Lennon in 1978. The song finally was completed last year with the help of technology. Have you heard it yet? I haven't heard it yet. Have you heard it? No, I will be. I will be, I will be listening to it. I'll be intrigued to it's see. It's really interesting the way uh, technology is being used now to kind of either to revive things or, or bring things, complete things yeah. that were sort of left half done. Didn't you talk, when you spoke to Cliff Richard, which we ran the interview this week, didn't you talk to him about um, technology, AI and stuff? Yes, he was not a fan. Oh, okay. he, he, didn't, he didn't see it being, <laughs> being workable yet for him. We'll each, see. Each we'll to see. their own, eh?